Hey, how's it going everyone? Pogo Science here. Thank you so much for stopping on by as always you guys. And today we're going to go ahead and discuss how to use Mr. Mime in Pokemon Unite. Mr. Mime, one of the more difficult Pokemon to run, but we're going to give you all the tips and tricks you need to do really well. Um, and we're going to be running Barrier with it, so we're going to be making tons of walls. And Barrier, if done correctly, can end up being one of the most devastating moves in combination with Confusion. So we're going to be discussing the moves first for a couple of minutes, and then we'll do an actual raid, uh, raided battle, you guys. So before we hop into it, if you can just hit the like button, I'm going to try to get a goal of 20 likes on the video. Who knows if we get it, but if you help, that will be amazing, you guys. If you're new to the channel, also subscribe for more of these Pokemon Unite tips. So let's go ahead and hop into some of the attacks, you guys. That Let's see what, what uh, Mr. Mime is rocking. So you hit the X button. You actually go to progression down here. It'll actually show you per level what your moves are. As you see right there, it's considered a supporter, which is true. It does support, um, helps create walls so your teammates can either attack or also retreat. So Mr. Mime, very important for both attacking and defending and the first move you have is fake out which is what i i suggest using you have the choice of fake out or light screen to start off the the official battle fake out of course is the only move that actually does damage so i highly suggest using fake out first if you, when you have a choice at the very beginning because light screen will only create a wall as you see um right here fake out yeah it pretty much just slaps his hand together and, and shoves the uh, opposing pokemon back and does damage as well so that's that's pretty straightforward and then light screen pretty much creates um, a bunch of walls that your opponent can't go through but you personally can so keep that in mind when you see your own, own wall feel free to walk right through it if you need to um, once you hit level four you're gonna have a choice between confusion and psychic i highly suggest confusion confusion does a great job of um, shooting your opponent right back at them you guys so it's a great move to have to create space for yourself between you and your opponent when i run mr mime i rarely ever die because confusion is such a good move to um, get you out of there uh, get your opponent pushed back and in combination with the next move you guys that you guys will get at level six is barrier so for barrier it's pretty much like the um the first movie had with the walls but the nice thing about barrier is that the walls i believe are a little bit uh, it's only one wall instead of three, but each wall, is, uh, you can store them, you guys. So you can actually stack walls so that when the cooldown clock is running, you can actually uh, stack these barriers and you can eventually make it up to like three barriers if you want. And uh, if you hit, some, if you use a move and, and such as Confusion to hit a opposition into a barrier, um, you can actually stun them and do even more damage. So I highly suggest you utilize the barrier clock. Confusion combo. Confusion also works uh, in, in doing some additional damage, not just to uh, ones that hit the barrier, but also any uh, walls that are actually in the game right now. So, and at level nine, you get the very strong Showtime Unite move. So this is one of the strongest moves, in my opinion, in the game, and one of the easiest moves to use after having all those really difficult moves for Mr. Mime in this game. This is such an easy move to have. All you do is that you you're gonna click the sh uh, Showtime Unite move. And you can choose where you want to jump into, so that's an additional bonus. So you, if you want to target a specific Pokemon right away, you can. So you can jump right onto that Pokemon, it'll stun them, it'll do damage, and it'll last for a couple of seconds too. So you're pretty much going to be surrounded by this um, magic circle where anyone that's inside of it will get stunned momentarily and also they'll do some damage to them as well. So it's a very strong move, especially for the end game for the Zapdos melee. So definitely I suggest uh, storing a, a Unite move around like two minutes and 30 seconds left just so that you have it for the Zapdos. So let's go ahead and hop into um, an actual rated battle for Mr. Mime and see how we can do. Uh, I'm going to hop into rank. So currently sitting at expert class as you see slowly climbing up. Not not playing a ton of ranks rank, uh, rank rated games right now. Um, so definitely it's kind of like in the middle of pack. I really want to get up to ultra hopefully <laughs> because I feel like um, some of the competition down in, in Expert is too random. I, ra rather, I, I rather face the competition Ultra because um, there's going to be more people who are similar skill level as I am. And I, I want just better teammates to be honest. That's just me being frank. I, I actually really just want better teammates. Um, I'm totally fine with um, playing against uh, stronger enemies. But with teammates, I just want someone. I just want a team that that's uh, pretty strong overall. So this Q time is suspicious. So I'm gonna back out and and, and re-enter for what? Considering I'm only one person, usually the Q times should not last this long. And I'm getting an error here. Uh oh. Let's see, you guys. Let's see what we can do with this error. 
Uh, TikTok, TikTok. Interesting. Connecting the server. Okay, there we go. You're removed from lobby. Oh gosh. Hopefully, I didn't get a fair. Hope I, I don't lose any fair play points for that. <laughs> I knew there was something wrong because, I mean, if you saw the estimated time to enter was only four seconds and it was lasting almost a minute. So we have 10 solid now. So the nice thing about Mr. Mime, of course, is no one wants to play it. <laughs> because not, not many people know how to play it. And the few that have tried, um, are, have kind of given up on it because it's too hard to play or they're using guard swap instead. In my opinion, um, guard swap has a ton of play as well, but I think barrier, if you, if you can work on it, which will require you to use your right joystick to make the walls. And I'll be discussing all these strategies as I'm playing, um, as I usually do in my videos. I won't just be playing and just being silent <laughs> most of the time. I'll be pretty much discussing everything that's going through in my head right now. Um, and right now I see how this team is very imbalanced, but we're still going to do our, uh, our best nevertheless. As you see, we have another support. We have we have Crustal as a tank, so we're just not uh, attack heavy enough. My teammate has not locked in the Crustal either, and two of my teammates are using Potion, which is a little bit alarming. So we'll see what we can do with this team, and, and, and we'll do our best, you guys. Um, I have won with two support before, um, so if they're actually good players then we can still pull it out you guys let's see what my opponents my opponents don't have any tanks and they don't have any support either I believe um, oh, it could be a really interesting team uh, to face because we're very defense heavy and they're very offense heavy <laughs> so it's gonna be very key for us to level as quickly as possible and get some early kills and to slow them down from leveling up on their end so I think that'll be the strategy I am willing to usually with mr. mime in these raided battles to let my teammates decide wherever lane they want to go to and I'll just go with whoever um, the other side doesn't have uh, the tank for. So I'm guessing Crustal and Wiggly, let's see if they split up. If they split up, I'll go with Wiggly I think. So let's see. I just don't want to go with the tank because I feel like it's a waste. Alright, so I really hope the Ninetales will go mid. Or the Vulpix, excuse me, will go mid and perfect, they do. Looks like they're fighting with the Pikachu though. So I'm going to work with this uh, Wiggly, or uh, with this Jiggly. <laughs> Jiggly. I always forget that they're still basic Pokemon at the very start of the game. So let's go ahead and see if I can take this Aldino. That's usually my plan. Always try to take the Aldino first. Um, so as you see right there, I already have my light screen ready. I'm just holding on to it. They're they're fighting hard for it. So And they got it. So I'm going to clap this. Oh gosh. I actually got to get back into the, the lane. 2 on 1 is no fun you guys and the Machop's going to score instantly. I'm going to slow down the Machop though with this wall. Let's see if we can get the kill here. We got to work on getting this kill early right? We, that was one of our keys to this game when we looked at the lineup was uh, making sure we got kills early because they they're so attack heavy you just need to slow down their farm right? And that's why whenever there's opportunity for me to possibly steal farm I will. So we get confusion already so that's how quick you, quickly you can get to confusion. It only takes uh, level 4 to, to get to confusion which is very very quick. Um, probably as quick as you possibly can. We take we got another kill. I'm gonna try to score. One little tip you guys is that when you score you actually gain XP and we take out a Machop right there so I score again even though it's one ball it's more XP you guys it's more XP and this um this Haunter is in trouble because he's fighting solo. Let's see if we can get another kill and we do we get another kill. I, I think it's our fourth kill already. And that Ralts is in trouble. I'm gonna try to take care of this Machop if I can. No, this Machop might be a little bit too healthy. Um, I'm trying, let's see, the Wiggly will score. Okay, let's go back. And killing the bees um, are very important, of course, in every game. There's a lot of farm right here. And pushing them back allowed us to kill all these bees. So that's very, very good. So I'm pretty low on health. I don't wanna see if there's a berry because there's. We've been doing so well with the kills, I want to kind of hang around this lane and see if I can keep on stacking kills, keep on getting more XP. I have six more balls, so if I can score, I will try. And I do, so get some more XP there. Um, Wiggly might be a goner, I can't really do much if I don't have my wall. There, stun the Machop. I'm trying to take some hits for the Wiggly if I can. Um, oh gosh, we got another kill. We got another kill, the, the Ross is in trouble. Um, the Wiggly went down during the fight though, so that's a little unfortunate, but that's okay. We did so much farm, so much, so many kills, and Barrier's ready. Oops, accidentally called for, or at least I accidentally uh, sent a message to everyone about my confusion cooldown, which was very uh, unnecessary. So let's see if the Machoke will make a mistake. I, I like to make the, uh, ha uh, have the wall ready, 
so I can drop it whenever my opponents um, decide to do whatever. Uh, because I want to be ready for it, right? I, I don't want to have to guess where the wall will be. I want to always know. As you see, when I make walls, I will always uh, have it preset already. And we're going to keep on scoring, you guys. We're getting a lot of XP right now. I'm going to hang with my team. Try to get the kill right here. Night, night, sleep tight. Let's see if we get one more for the Haunter. I'm going to go behind Haunter because I want to make sure um, we get the kill. And then it's just two, but it's more XP, you guys. More XP. We're going to keep scoring, you guys. Keep scoring. So we're doing so well on the bottom. Let's go ahead and get the Dreadnought. And that's exactly what Ninetales is doing right now. And I'm going to try to help the Ninetales. I know the Machoke is coming, but he doesn't have numbers. We do, right? So, and I have my wall ready. They do have two teammates now, so we got to be a little bit careful. Um, I'm going to try to drop a wall right there. Uh, yeah, see how, how I just dropped that wall? Zoning out the Machoke, you guys. Didn't give him an option. So, they have three. It's three on three right now, but uh, I, we got walls on our side. We got walls on our side. I'm going to go back and get this bear real fast, as my cooldown is not even ready yet, so it wouldn't be worth even hanging around for. And we get the kill on the Haunter. Okay, okay, we got the kill on the Ivysaur up top, it looks like. So we're doing really well as a team. And we're just kind of trying to help. There we go, Night Nicely tied to the Machoke. And they only have a Curlia left. I have my wall ready if I can get the, if I can bait this Curlia to come out. That's what I was trying to do. Um, the Wiggly is uh, pretty aggressive, which I sometimes like and sometimes don't. <laughs> Um, I am actually just gonna recall because I feel like I'm too low on health. I know I took a berry earlier, so there's at best only one berry back there and three Pokemon that are low on health. I'd rather my teammates get the berry and I'm gonna come right back bottom. Keep an eye out on your map. Uh, if you're doing well in one lane, and, and I say this probably every video, um, there's a good chance that there's th the other lane might be in trouble. <laughs> um, but so far we're doing pretty well and I think we, we've been Pretty much having uh, three on three fights all game, so it's not like we're, we're beating up uh, you know two opponents with three or something. So the wall, as you see right there, I'm just pre-making the wall just in case if the Machoke makes a mistake and he does, he actually stopped. Uh, the wall didn't play a role, but it would have been ready to smack right into. He would have been ready to smack right into it. Uh, let's see if I can score one more time. No, can't. Can't. Ooh, might have been a little too aggressive there. I'm gonna actually use my ult. See if I can uh, get away, if not get a kill. So we we. We couldn't get the kill, but we did get away though. So we saved ourselves so we can come back and defend, which will be very important. And we might even get a kill now because we lowered some of their health, right? And I'm gonna drop another wall right there. Look at all these walls, you guys. My opponents really don't know where to go <laughs> with all these walls. I'm gonna go ahead and take this last berry. I don't know if the Ninetales is going for it. The Ninetales is retreating, so that's good. I'm gonna come back down here because I, I, I'm curious if they're gonna try to take Dreadnought now, if they feel like they have numbers. And they're nowhere to be seen, so I'm actually going to go ahead and just uh, work with this Wiggly for now. Keep an eye on the map, always look at the right side in case um, someone comes. I'm pretty low on health at this point, so I might just create a Diversion and let my teammates of course finish off the Dreadnought. Yes! Oh no, the, the, the Venusaur came in last second, and I'm going to be so low on health and so is the rest of our team, so we all just have to go back at this point. Uh, I'm going to do my best to try to defend, but I'm not sure if there's anything I can do. Uh, I'm just gonna come back and defend. Wiggly is so low. Can Wiggly get out of there in time? Oh, let's see. Looks like we're in pursuit actually. Looks like we might have gotten some kills there. Look at my wall, you guys. See that wall? So I missed it there. I was hoping the the, uh, the guard of our would go up, but it didn't. So that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and farm a little now. I want to get to level 10. I'm so close. Might as well get the, the level increase. Oh gosh, totally whiffed. Oh. We need some help on bottom right now. Pikachu and I both recognize at the exact same time. Let's see if it's too late. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm very close to my ult right now, so I'm just trying to get to the ult. Just trying to get to the ult, and I and I uh, I have I do have the ult now, so I'm gonna use my ult. Take out the Machamp at least. I'm gonna create a wall there. Hopefully the guard, uh, Gengar didn't see me, so I can retreat into back to the um, homeland to, to heal up. And we're doing pretty well defending right now. They, they've made some threats, but overall we've only allowed about four points on the bottom lane. The top lane looks still very healthy. Let's see if we can get some farm right here. Um, we stunned the Machamp, which is great, and now Wiggly is singing to it. I'm going to drop another wall. Really uh, discombobulate that uh, Machamp, you guys. And we get the kill. How nice is that, you guys? And i got to get out of here because it's going to be a two-on-one real soon. I'm going to back them up briefly need some help. I'm gonna make a wall here so that I can walk right through. Alright, we barely survive. And I make one more wall. 
and I have to retreat. I have no no other option. I was actually ready to die from the from the um, sludge bomb <laughs> poison. So luckily, I was at a base uh, that I can heal up, and I actually couldn't. Um, I actually could not uh, go back home for a second because. I was taking damage, so when you take damage, you cannot um, you cannot go back home until you stop taking damage for a few seconds in order to to uh, recall. So I'm hanging around. I think my opponent my opponents are just like kind of hanging around as well because I think they're hoping I go away and they can sneak in for a score. It's a minute 38 left, and oh, looks like some people are headed towards the middle. So that's where I will head towards. Um, I had a little bit of lag there, so that's why I went back home briefly. I didn't want to die. Um, Oh, nine tails looks like could be a goner. Yes, night night sea I'm gonna use my ult now on this Gardarar. Yep, Gardarar, take him out, and we take out Zapdos. I drop one more wall. Is end up being unnecessary. I'm going top as everyone's spreading out. Gengar at bottom is gonna score, but no worries. We're gonna get so many points here. Oh, Venusaur with a nice, almost nice denial. I'm gonna try to see if I can get. Um, oh gosh, I'm gonna. Oh, I got out of the I got out of town just in time, uh, but my opponents surrender. We do pretty well. 602, a very high score for our team. As you see right there, defense uh, was pretty strong aside from the Gengar scoring at the very end. But of course, we were giving the Gengar kind of like a fielder's indifference in baseball, you guys. And hey, look, we got the MVP. So we laid down a lot of very nice walls, as you see right there. Um, even though we're the support, we actually uh, tied our team for the most kills. Uh, we also had a second most assist. The two supports on our team, Wiggly and Mr. Mime, both did obviously. I'm not too glow about myself, but the two supports are, were leading the the team in kills and and assists. Um, so we did really well. Taking a look at some of the stats real fast, um, we led from beginning to end, um, and ultimately took the Zapdos as well. And that's what it's like when you um, level up first, right? When you level up first, you're gonna take Zapdos most likely because uh, you're just stronger. Uh, and everyone went to Zapdos at the appropriate time, so uh, really very strong plays by all my teammates. As you see right there towards the end, um, we scored about 270 points in the final two minutes crunch time. That's usually when you should score most of your points. And looking at our opposition, they also did score a lot of points, but just not enough because they were behind. They only had 44 points or so, um, give or take, around there, maybe 64 at the 8 minute mark. So defense wins championships, I'll say that again you guys. When you get to higher levels, expect there to be a lot of defense. And I suggest always playing defense, leveling up, making sure you don't make early mistakes. You guys, it's all about not making early mistakes so you can level up faster and be stronger than your opposition. And that looks like, based off the trend, that is what went down. So hopefully you guys found some um, education and some fun out of this uh, Mr. Mime showcase. I'll be doing a lot more Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime is the Pokemon I've decided that I really want to learn really well. I, I've been playing with the right joystick a lot to make sure I get really good at making all those walls, understanding all the angles I need, cutting off corners, and um, it's going to be a lot of fun for, for Mr. Mime. And Mr. Mime is not one of those free Pokemon, so you will have to go to the shop and spend 8,000 coins. Or you can also use some sort of, I forget what the other uh, form of currency is, but you can use that as well. So thank you so much you guys for stopping on by. I appreciate it so much, and I'll catch you guys all during the next video. Take care.